Hey everyone, Melissa here. I am back with another painting for you. This time um, some impressionistic lemons using soft pastels. I used my current favorite sanded paper for this, which is UART 400, though you can use any sanded or textured paper if you have it. Um, for soft pastels, I used my uh, general favorites, which are Terry Ludwig, Great American, Unison, and Richeson. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly what colors or brands I'm using at any given time. Um, granted, I didn't write any of that down and I can't really see what I'm using in the video, but the exact color and the exact brand do not matter. Um, if you're going to do something similar, just go with whatever you have. Um, so you can see I start out by blocking in my basic colors. So for the background, I just used a variety of darks that I had, purples, blues, greens, and I'm mixing them all together with some isopropyl alcohol. Now, if you do not have isopropyl alcohol, you can use water and it will accomplish the same thing. It just doesn't dry as quickly as the isopropyl alcohol, but the end result is the same. So you can see once it dries, it dries a lot lighter than how it was when it is wet. So try and keep that in mind. So once it is dry, I have to go back over with my darkest darks to kind of reestablish them. And again, for the background, I'm using just various dark colors and I'm mixing them all together. Um, for the lemons, I decided that like a purpley pink underneath the yellow would make it pop a little bit and add some interest. So I wasn't going for super realistic um, as usual in this case. And what I'm doing is just layering the yellows and some oranges directly over those purples and pinks. I'm not blending them out at this point. I want them to look kind of choppy and I want to see the pinks and the purples underneath the yellow. The background I do end up blending out a little more. Now for these flowers, uh, they end up being kind of a, a bluish purple underneath and then you'll see me later come on top with kind of a mid-value blue and then a lighter blue on top of that to make them pop a little bit. And I made them blue just because I liked the contrast with the yellow. Um, I wasn't using a specific reference photo for this. I basically looked around on online for quite a while at various pictures of lemons and lemon trees and that kind of thing. And then I created my own composition based on how leaves and lemons normally look on lemon trees. So they don't exactly grow in my area, so I couldn't get a picture of one myself. Uh, but you could use any reference photo that you find online that is copyright free. Don't just find one that is on Google because you could run into issues there. You don't want to steal anyone else's work. So for the leaves, I've blended the background a little bit with my fingers and then what I'm doing is taking some darker and mid-value greens and I'm putting them directly over all those random colors that I put in the background. I don't want them to really pop out at this point. I want them to kind of look like they're behind the lemons. So that's why I'm not using super bright colors. And you'll occasionally see me take a paintbrush at times, a dry paintbrush, and brush off some of the pastel that's on the paper. And that's because I've decided I didn't like whatever was going on in that area, and I wanted to restore the tooth of the paper and get rid of most of that color that is on there. It will not get rid of all of the color. You'll still see like a ghost image of whatever was there, uh, but it does help for reworking areas and that's one of the things that I love about soft pastels is that you can do this. So there's no pressure in using a color that ends up not looking great. If you don't like the way it looks you can brush it off and start over. And as I go on I'm adding some lighter colors to the leaves and to the flowers. Uh, with soft pastels, I normally start out darker and then I move towards lighter. And you'll occasionally see me picking up my board that the painting is resting on. And what I'm doing there is I'm tapping it against the table 
that this is on so that lets all of that pastel dust drop to the little ledge that I have underneath this painting. Um, you don't want to blow the pastel dust because you don't want to breathe that in. And just refining my lemons a little bit. And you'll see me frequently tapping the dust off because I don't want to accidentally have the yellow dust land onto the green leaves or onto the background or anything like that. And they do generate quite a bit of dust on sanded paper. Um, if you are worried about dust, you can use a paper like Pastel Mat, which will hold on to the dust a lot better than, say, the sanded papers like UART will. You could also use harder pastels or pan pastels instead of the soft pastels that I'm using. Generally, the softer the pastel that you use, the more dust they will create. adding some highlights to the lemons. Um, since I'm not looking at an actual reference photo, I am guessing on where the light would fall on them. So I decided that my light source is coming from the upper left area. So that's why I put a highlight on the left side of all the lemons. And what I'm doing now is just taking a dark again and reestablishing those darks one more time around the lemons themselves because I want that to be the focal point. Um, so high contrast will generally bring the focus to that area of your painting. And then I decided to rework some of the leaves a little bit on the side. And there's the paintbrush brushing off the pastel. And I actually reworked that area a couple times before I'm really happy with it. And again, that is the beauty of pastels. And I tried out various greens and decided I didn't like some greens and I liked other greens better. So um, a lot of working and reworking in this one. And adding some more darks. Um, for those really dark areas, what I'm using is probably my darkest purples, which are the Terry Ludwig eggplant color and the Great American plum color. Um, I think I also used um, one of the Sennelier or Sennelier, Sennelier, I'm not sure how you say it. I'm not French, uh, but one of their really dark blue colors. And adding that on top of the purple makes it a really, really nice, rich dark. Just fiddling with this leaf over here now and calling it finished at this point. If you have questions, please feel free to leave me a note below and definitely subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like on this video if you liked it. Thanks.